So the reason I make more money is because it's not what I'm doing what I love. I do sometimes what I hate so I can have the assets that I love. I love having a business. You know, if I didn't have a business, you wouldn't be here. Darren wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have a CEO and president. I wouldn't have accountants. I wouldn't have attorneys. So the business affords me the lifestyle I want. And then I invest in real estate. I've never gone past a real estate piece of, a piece of land or a building I did, not, I did not love. And then what most people invest in from there is paper. And that's fine, that's stocks, bonds, mutual funds, savings, ETFs, not my game. I don't love it, I actually hate it. But these guys, it's perfect for them to have papers, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF, and all that, because they're focused over here. They wanna do what they love, they wanna climb the ladder, they want their career, they want this, I'm gonna become president, you know, that's not what I wanted. I wanna be a football star. But that, this is for the middle class here. That's fine, you can get rich here too. I just don't like it. It's not exciting to me. And then the last one are commodities. And the four basic commodities, there's a lot of commodities, like food. Farmers get rich, they provide food, which is good. I invest in food. I invest in avocado farms, provide food. Oil, gold, silver. I love those things. I love avocados, you know? So I'm doing what I love. I love trees, I love plants, you know, things like this. So I'm doing what I love here, here, and here. I don't like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, 401ks, IRAs. I think it doesn't excite me, you know? It just doesn't, this excites me. So I invest in what I love rather than do what I love. And these guys do what they love, but most of them never get over here. And this is like Steve Jobs, Zuckerberg, uh, Bezos of Amazon, and they have all the money in the world. That was my plan. Because one of the biggest mistakes, I still hear it today from young people, oh, I don't have to worry because I'm still young. Yeah, and that is death to most people because eventually you get old and then you're not young again. So it's a way of saying, when I talk about assets and liabilities, one of the most important things you have in your life is time. It's one of your greatest assets or it's your liability. And being, you know, I just turned 70. And I have friends who have nothing. I mean, they have zero. Now they made, they've made a lot of money, but they have nothing here. They have nice houses, nice cars, 16 wives, 19 kids, I don't know what they have, but you know what I mean? And, and being young is great, except it can be a liability to you. Because when you're young, you're just having a lot of fun and life's exciting, you know, it's new. So, as a time, but the thing is, this is the lesson today, is so many people spend their time focusing here. They want to make a lot of money and I can hear it in their words. They say, oh, I want a career. This is career. Okay, or I'm gonna start my own business. And this is the chart here, which we've seen. This is the cash flow quadrant, book number two, E is employee. S is small business, self-employed, or a specialist, like a doctor, a lawyer, a web, web designer. B is big business, 500 employees or more. And I is professional investor. So when I was your age, I knew I wanted to get here. This takes time. This is the hardest, you know. This is where the big mega bucks are. And Kim and I are here. And the money is massive. But it takes time to get there. The big mistake I see young people make is they focus here. And the words are, I want to do what I love. That's the trick. You see, in real life, sometimes you have to do what you hate. Like people think I like to write books. I hate writing books. But it fills my purpose in life. It's not my passion, my purpose in life. Because my purpose was to get here. 
A lot of these guys get trapped here doing what they love. And as we've talked about on earlier episodes of this thing, these guys pay the highest taxes. 40% here, 60% in taxes here, 20% here, and then 0% here. So when I was in my, before my 20s, I knew I wanted to go there and I wasn't doing what I loved. I had to learn what I didn't want to learn. I had sometimes to do what I hated. I had to learn about taxes. I had to learn about debt. I had to take classes. I had to learn about insurance. So I was doing a lot of things I hated doing so I could come over here. These guys never do this. They say, well, they live that passion. I want my passion. The difference between passion is greedy. Purpose is for other people. So my purpose was to come over here so I could serve more people. So I have employees here and all this. I don't buy stocks, bonds, mutual funds because as a professional investor, I can create my own assets. Like, you know, coming here, I was doing fine over here because I didn't have much money because the government takes all your money anyway, right? 40% yeah. in taxes, because nobody's gonna sue you. You come over here, they sue you, okay? So I had to learn about lawsuits. I hated it, but I learned it. So the big mistake for young people is I'm gonna do what I love, which is fine over here. But what do you love the most? What I loved my freedom. And I know it sounds greedy, but I love making money. I'd rather have a lot of money than no money. I've been both. I've been broke, I've been in down, everything, but I'd rather have a lot of money. So it was worth my purpose to get over here. The big mistakes I see young people making is here. You know, they think about what they want to do, what they love. And what I'm saying to you, the millennials right now, invest in what you love. But there's a very big difference. In other words, think about this side first. Most young people, or should I say short-sighted people, they think this is it or this is it. But this is the one here. So when I was your age, I knew that the assets I wanted to acquire the richest people own businesses over here. These guys are small business, self-employed. You're self-employed if you can't stop working. I stopped working years ago because I have a businesses. Very big difference. It was painful, but I got there. So number one is a business. So when I was in my 20s, I knew I was going to do what it would take to school, study, learn about taxes, debt, insurance, accounting, lawsuits, and all this through business. Next is real estate. I love real estate. But most people can't do what I do because they don't have a business. It's catch 22. They don't have enough money to get over here. I'll leave you one last word that's very, very important for people to understand at a young age. And the word is called liquidity. The reason this is better for most people is because it's liquid. You can buy a stock, you make a mistake, you get out. You buy an ETF, you make a mistake, you get out. It's not, it's not, it's good, it's important. The moment you go into real estate, you're not liquid. That's why you gotta be smarter going in. Because if you make a mistake, you can't get out. And you buy a bad piece of property, you write it down. And the same as businesses, you're in there, you're solid, you can't get out. Like if Rich Dad, you know, Rich Dad's gotten in trouble, you know, with money and all businesses are, I can't quit. Employees just quit and they leave. They, they run like little rats, you know. But if you're in here or here, you can't get out. So that's why liquidity is crucial. It's very important, which means that's why Rich Dad's coaching, Rich Dad's education, with all our programs and all this. But most people are not willing to do this study because they want to do what they love rather invest and acquire what they love. So stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF savings are good because they're liquid. You can make a mistake and get out. These things, hard to get out of, including gold. Gold's hard to get out of sometimes. Gold's more liquid than this. Oil is tough to get out of. You make a mistake there, you're, you're gonna ride that baby down, you know? Silver's pretty easy. But the word is liquidity. The less liquid, the higher your financial IQ. 
you've got to be so much smarter. And most people, they have it, they have that ability to be that smart, but they rather do what they love rather than invest in what they love.